Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to recap and explain an Argentinian ghostly horror movie called The Funeral Home. But first please subscribe to my channel. It helps. The story of the film is set in a funeral home owned by Bernardo. He was a mortician. He had a big funeral home and attached to it was Bernardo's house where he lived with his family. His wife's name is Estella, Estella had a daughter named Irina. Bernardo was Estella's second husband, her abusive first husband had died. Irina's grandmother was alive and she loved her. Estella and grandma's relationship was not good, she thought she is after Irina's custody. At the beginning of the film, we see an invisible entity who was roaming around the house at midnight and comes to a closed bedroom after circling everyone's room. This bedroom belonged to Bernardo's dead father Salvador. It was closed for several months. Inside dust, dirt and unused items were lying everywhere. The entity now sleeps on Salvador's bed. Here on the walls of the washroom, a message was written. It is forbidden to use this at night. There were many ghosts in the courtyard of this house, about whom Bernardo and their family knew. Ghosts did not bother them as they had a deal done by Bernardo's family shaman Ramona. She had given the ghosts a place to live in the courtyard of the house and fixed their boundary with a red line. The forbidden washroom was perhaps for these ghosts to use at night. LOL. There was a portable washroom outside the house that Bernardo and his family used to use at night. The next morning Bernardo prepares a lady's body and hands it over to her family. After dinner at night, Bernardo receives a message from a ghost asking him to come near the cycle stand. Apparently, ghosts were using the lighting and the alarm of the house. That cycle stand was across the boundary line. Bernardo goes there and we clearly see a ghost's footsteps coming toward him. Bernardo and this ghost had a good relationship, he treated her like his daughter. At night Irina woke up to take a leak. She had a bucket in the corner of her room. A dark entity now arrives in her room and starts going through her stuff. It had a human-like shape. Irina was scared like hell but she was kind of used to it. She knew this house had ghosts and hence falls asleep without making a sound. The next morning she talks about leaving the house to her mother. Bernardo says that he will talk to Ramona again as she said, the ghosts will not cross the line. They will stay in the courtyard. Irina never saw Bernardo as a dad but as just another old man. She wanted to leave the house and stay with her grandmother, but Estella was vehement for a stay here. She says ghosts or spirits do not harm us, we humans harm each other. She was saying this as she had the experience of being in an abusive relationship. But this is not the whole story. In reality, Estella was also scared of living in this house, but she had no option except Bernardo. Her first husband was abusive. The trauma from that made her mentally weak. Here she was surviving somehow. Irina stayed in this house because she thought that her biological dad's ghost might also be there. He may come to meet her one day. She lost her head when she was just a kid. Another strange thing in this house was the appearance of the smell of perfume. This perfume belonged to Salvador. Estella believed that Salvador's ghost is also in this house. Meaning he is staying in the house and not in the courtyard. Now at night, the lights of the house start flickering. Bernardo starts talking to the ghost. He thinks it is a friendly ghost by the cycle stand. He gives her a doll as a gift, and that ghost says thanks, dad. This night Irina was too scared to go out to the washroom, she decides to use the one in the washroom in the house. After a few moments, the handle of the door starts to move. Irina in panic dials on Estella's and Bernardo's mobile but no one gets up. Estella was in deep sleep and Bernardo was standing naked in the hall. He seemed to be in some kind of possession. Irina walks out of this creepy washroom where she sees two hands in Salvador's room. She runs to Estella's room and wakes her up. She started the tantrum about going to her grandmother's place. Estella and Bernardo understand her and asked her to stay till morning. Now we see the hand of an evil entity that picks up a blue ball. Now Bernardo decides to stay awake the whole night. The ghosts now started giving him scary messages. They abused him. They threw three caskets in front of his house. The house dog also started barking violently. 
we see another message in the blood which says, please help, this is not me. Clearly, there was an entity that was haunting ghosts as well as Barnardo. He checks his dad's room, it was normal and nothing unusual was there. The next morning Irina starts to leave for her grandmother's house. She was a ballet dancer. She had won many trophies. Estella keeps one in her memory. At night, Bernardo tried contacting the friendly ghost but he doesn't get any response. At night Estella was using the outside washroom. Suddenly it started shaking and the door got locked. The shredded head of a rooster falls on her. Estella started screaming for Bernardo but he was in deep sleep. This happened for a while and then all of a sudden stopped on its own. Estella comes out and runs to her room. The next morning she and Bernardo call the shaman Ramona. She was a ballet dancer. She had won many trophies. Do a ritual in the evening. Here she makes a circle and starts the fire in it. She also started chatting. She gets visions of past events. She sees that Estella didn't want to keep her father-in-law Salvador in the house. She preferred an old age home for him. One day she turned on the gas and accused Salvador of turning it on. Many ladies left Bernardo as living beside a funeral home was tough for them. Hence he wanted to stay with Estella at any cost. Under her delusion, he sends his father to an old age home. Before leaving, Salvador hides some things in the courtyard of the house. Salvador dies a few days after this. Ramona says to Bernardo that Salvador was very sad about leaving the house. When I dealt with ghosts here I noticed a very low-level ghost. He was not interested in the deal. That's why I advised you not to use the washroom at night. But I was wrong, it was not a low-level ghost, it did the trick for me. It's a demon. Salvador had permitted it to stay in this house. Salvador was very sad to be evicted from the house, he made a deal with it. He gave the task of killing Estella and Irina in exchange. He also hid the knife in the courtyard. When Salvador came back here as a ghost he understood his mistake. The demon will kill everyone. Including Bernardo. That's why he met the friendly ghost of the courtyard and tried to stop the demon. But he was not successful. All the ghosts vanished. Here I am not sure how. But they indeed vanished. There is only one left. Meaning, the perfume that Estella was talking about was indeed real. Salvador's ghost was in this house. Ramona again says till now the demon was playing with you. But tonight it will kill you. So we have to bring Irina here ASAP. She is not safe outside. Estella goes to grandma's house and brings Irina back here. Irina was desperate to get out of here, so she whatsapp her grandma. Ramona draws a circle and starts chanting. She gives these three a concoction to drink so that the demon couldn't possess them. Everyone spends the night in that same circle. The demon had a deadline of tonight. After some time, Ramona sensed the absence of the demon. Irina sees the ghost of her real dad, she was very happy. As her dad called her out, she left the circle. He was a low-level ghost who was still in the house. Irina moves to her room and hugs her dad's ghost. Ramona, upon seeing Irina not being in the circle, calls for her to stay in her room. After some time Irina's grandma arrives here. She was possessed by the demon. That's why it was absent. Demon picks up the knife. It first attacks Ramona, then attacks Estella and Bernardo. Locks them in caskets. Ramona crawled out in agony and stays inside the circle there. Irina was listening to the screams of her mom from her room upstairs. She comes downstairs now. She starts crying seeing Estella in the casket as she was dying there. There was also a casket by the name of Irina which was empty. The demon who had possessed grandma now starts attacking Irina. Estella tries her best in stopping it even in her pain. Irina runs out and hides in the washroom there. The demon starts a knife attack there. Ramona who was still alive starts chanting. She removes grandma from her possession. This angers the demons, it kills both grandma and Ramona. But Ramona was successful in the expulsion of this demon from this house. Hence Irina survives. She comes out of the washroom.
Here Estella sees Irina as ballet dancer, she dances to her favorite tune. She was happy seeing her alive. Finally she dies beside Irina. With this, the movie ends. This film is very good, it is an atmospheric horror film. There are logical holes in the story but it's okay. It's horror. The direction and cinematography are good. It really scares you. The moral of the story is don't take your elders out of the house or hurt them. Otherwise, they will do something in their grief that will increase your problems. Anyway, overall it's a one-time watch film. Please subscribe to my channel. Give it a like. Thanks for watching. Take care.